Last February, I began a four-month teeth straightening plan with Smile Direct Club. Now, one year on and three treatment plans later, I still have a crooked tooth. So what went wrong? I want to start first with a little apology to those of you who have commented in the past few months asking for an update on um, my progress with Smile Direct Club. Um, I've got to say that there have been several times where I've gone to do an update and um, the plan has changed. And um, I've thought to myself, oh, I'll just wait till I do this next run of treatments and then I'll do an update because hopefully then I'll be finished. Um, but one year on, I am still not finished. So I thought whatever happens, it's just time to do an update. For those of you who uh, are watching this for the first time, haven't seen my other Smile Direct Club videos, I have done two. Uh, I did one right at the start of the, the treatment plan last year. Um, and then I, I set out the whole experience from that first consultation to, you know, trying the aligners on for the first time, the lot. So I will link to that video in the description below this one. And I also did a second follow up at the end of the first four month treatment plan. So again, I'll link to that one below and you can catch up on the story so far. Uh, but to take you right back, I have had gaps, little gaps in my teeth. At the top, I had quite a prominent gap between the middle teeth and little gaps either side. And then on the bottom, I had a very crooked tooth, which still is here, but this had a real lean on it. And it, there, were, well, there was a little kind of gap alongside where that was leaning. So I had a bit to tidy up. I'd asked my dentist about it. He said that using the kind of clear aligner system that he offered, it would be in excess of 3000 pounds. But then I noticed some advertising from Smile Direct Club. And when I checked out the prices, it was about half of that. And I thought, well, why not? The way the system works is you don't see an orthodontist. You go in um, to a uh, smile shop near you. I did, and I went in and I got my teeth um, scanned. And from there they can create the impression and um, deliver a treatment plan, which is uh, multiple sets of aligners that arrive in a, a box that will cover the duration of your treatment plan. For a lot of people, that's six months. The teeth straightening that I needed was actually so mild that the, the plan they gave me was only a four month one. If you don't have a smile shop near you, they send you out uh, an impressions kit, basically a mold with putty and you do the, the, that yourself and they'll make your aligners based on the impression. When I did that first treatment plan, the first four month one, everything was going really well, actually. I mean, the aligners, they do sort of bite into you, your gums, you know, they're not entirely comfortable. And obviously they're straightening your teeth, so it's quite painful to begin with, but I thought completely manageable. As it neared the end of the four months, I began to get a bit worried because everything had been coming together really well. The lean on this one, it was beginning to sort of straighten up. Just before I reached that last month, I started to become concerned because this tooth here was beginning to kind of lean in. It was like it was being forced too much from the bottom rather than the, the top and the gum. Um, so that was bothering me. And on the bottom, I was beginning to worry that this one wasn't straightening fast enough. And what happens is, if your teeth don't move, then that next set of aligners is not gonna fit properly. And that's what started to happen to me. So I let them know and they said, look, just wear them out, go to the end of the treatment plan and let's take stock then. To cut a long story short, because it was quite a bit of toing and froing, the country had gone into lockdown by then. Um, what they did was they sent me out an impressions kit you pay a 25 pound deposit, you know, put the putty in your mouth and you create these molds, send them back, you get a new batch of aligners out and they refund the 25 pounds. From there, I got a second set of aligners and a three month plan. I knew it wasn't gonna work. Reason being, this tooth on the top was being forced again in exactly the same way and I could feel 
virtually no pressure on the one I really needed to move, which was this one. So I continued which was a bit of a painful experience knowing it wasn't really working. And I did sort of message them and say, look, this isn't feeling great. It's not moving fast enough. However, I finished the plan and it still hadn't shifted. I mean, it had barely moved at all, basically, from the last treatment plan. So I go back to them and I basically went through the entire process again and was put onto another three month treatment plan, which I've just finished. Now this time on the top set, which I'd already said to them, look, you know, I've given up the top set. They're kind of straight enough. There's a little gap still remaining, but that's fine. I would rather that than have a great big lean into it. However, they still sent me aligners for the top set that called this one to lean into the other. Great big pressure on this one tooth, which I just didn't want. And the bottom set, hardly any pressure on this tooth here. All I can say is that where I'm at now is I've set them an, a new set of pictures. You have to do that at the end of every plan if it hasn't worked out and they evaluate it and they will let me know what to do from here. What I have asked for is a retainer that will maintain exactly where my upper teeth are now because they are as straight, I think, as they're gonna be with Smile Direct Club. The thing that needs sorting out is this bottom tooth here. I mean, Smile Direct Club, right from the start, they say it's good for mild to moderate cases and mine seemed really mild, but I think that the angle on this tooth is absolutely defeating them. I think that the aligner system is not really coping with that, particularly when you're not able to go in and see an orthodontist. Nobody's able to have a look. They're not able to scan my teeth right now because the smile shop is still shut and I'm just not confident it's gonna change. So. I don't know what they're gonna come back with. They may well come back with a new set of aligners to try and have another go at it, which I would wear. I really want to get this tooth straightened because it's really annoying me now. But on the other hand, they may just send me a retainer. At this point in time, I haven't asked for any money back. I certainly wouldn't expect a full refund. I have a little bit of a question mark about whether this tooth was ever gonna be st straightened properly with a system like this. And that should have possibly been picked up right from the start. So, you know, it's gonna be an ongoing discussion with them, depending on what they come back with now. You know, on the upper teeth, I'm actually quite happy with the results. So if they can get the retainer right, but the big, big problem with Smile Direct is you just can't get answers. You know, you get really nice assistance. You, you can um, message them on the website, you can phone, you can speak to them via Facebook or email them, which is what I've done a lot of the time. I've been emailing them and they're really helpful, but you don't get an answer as to what's gone wrong because you can't speak to a dentist or an orthodontist. Probably above everything now, what I think is if I was going back to the start, I should have just shelled out the extra cash and gone to see my dentist. And at this rate, what I might have to end up doing is going and spending another 1,500 to 1,800 pounds getting this bottom row sorted out. So that's the story so far. Um, I'm sorry that there's not a happy ending by now, a year on, but I will, of course, um, when I reach that end point with Smile Direct, uh, whenever that is, whatever that looks like, I will let you know. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'd love it if you could like and subscribe. Um, and if you have already subscribed, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.